In this episode, we'll dive in to explore what prompt engineering is, why it's essential for effective AI communication, and how different techniques make a huge difference in shaping AI responses. Welcome back to the Cody podcast. I'm your host, Kieran, and today we're diving into one of the more nuanced yet super powerful tools in the world of AI and large language models. It's a concept that can completely transform the way we interact with these systems, making them more useful, efficient, and precise. That's right. Today, we're talking all about prompt engineering. Now, if you've heard the term prompt engineering floating around, but aren't quite sure what it means, you're not alone. It's a term that's only recently started gaining traction, but it's quickly become a crucial skill for anyone working with AI, especially when it comes to getting the most out of large language models like ChatGPT and similar technologies. So in today's episode, we're going to unpack exactly what prompt engineering is, why it matters so much, how it works, some practical techniques, challenges, and where it might be headed in the future. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is prompt engineering? At its core, prompt engineering is all about carefully crafting the input, what we call the prompt, that we give to an AI model to get the best possible response. Think of it like giving directions or instructions to someone who's incredibly smart, but only understands exactly what you tell them. The way you phrase those instructions makes all the difference in the outcome. With prompt engineering, we're designing the questions, statements, or requests that will guide the model in generating its answer. And because these models, like GPT-4, don't actually understand language in the human sense, the way we word our prompts becomes crucial for getting accurate, useful, and contextually relevant responses. Let's break it down with an example to make this more concrete. Say you're using an AI model to help with writing content, and you want it to write a brief introduction about the benefits of sustainable energy. If you just type, tell me about sustainable energy, you'll get a fairly generic answer. But if you tweak that prompt and say, Write a two-paragraph introduction explaining the environmental benefits of sustainable energy with a focus on solar and wind power. You're setting the stage for a far more detailed and directed response. That's the essence of prompt engineering. Finding the right words, structures, and sometimes even the right tone to guide the AI toward the kind of answer you want. Now, you might be wondering, why is this necessary? Can't the AI just figure it out? Well, while these models are powerful, they're still limited by the nature of how they process language. Large language models generate responses based on probabilities. They look at your input and predict what words or phrases should come next based on the massive amounts of text they've been trained on. They're excellent at picking up patterns and mimicking language, but lack an inherent understanding of context or intent. And that's where prompt engineering shines. It's like giving the model a roadmap or a set of guardrails that guide it to stay on track. Without this guidance, the model can often give you a response that's too vague, overly broad, or just not relevant to what you need. We will get back to the podcast in just a second. This is just a note from me that if you want to learn how to get hands on with data, you can find courses on Python, Apache Spark, and more at cody.co.uk. Now, Let's get into some of the techniques used in prompt engineering because there's definitely more to it than just rephrasing questions. One popular technique is context setting. This involves giving the model a bit of background or framing before asking it to respond. For instance, if you're building an AI assistant to answer questions about a specific industry like finance, you might start each prompt with a context setting line. Like imagine you're a financial advisor with 10 years of experience in investment management. And then ask the question. This framing helps the model simulate the mindset or perspective you're aiming for, which can improve the quality and relevance of the response. Another key technique is structuring. Structuring is about laying out the prompt in a way that clarifies what you're asking, sometimes by breaking it down into steps or sections. For example, if you want the model to answer a question and provide an example, you could structure your prompt like this. Explain the concept of compound interest in simple terms, then give a real life example of how it works with a savings account. By clearly outlining each part of your request, you help the model understand that it needs to do both, explain and provide an example. 
Some advanced prompt engineering techniques involve using personas or specific formats. Let's start with personas. Creating a persona means telling the model to take on a specific role when answering a question. You might ask it to answer as a historian, a scientist, or even a skeptical friend. For example, if you're researching the effects of climate change and want a scientifically rigorous answer, you could say, answer as an environmental scientist with a focus on climate research. This helps the model prioritize the right type of language and context in its response. It's almost like acting, you're asking the model to put on a hat and take on a certain identity. Format prompts are another powerful tool in prompt engineering. This is where you request that the answer be in a certain format, like bullet points, a list of steps, a formal letter, or even a dialogue between two characters. Say you're trying to learn about a complex topic like blockchain technology. Instead of asking, what is blockchain? You could say, explain blockchain technology as a dialogue between a teacher and a curious student. This not only makes the response more engaging, but can also help simplify complex concepts by framing them in a conversational way. It's like a shortcut to better comprehension, especially for audiences who might find technical jargon off-putting or confusing. Another exciting area is adaptive prompting. This is a more dynamic approach where prompts can change in real time based on the model's responses. So if the model starts veering off topic or giving irrelevant information, an adaptive prompt could automatically redirect it back on track. This would be a huge leap forward because it would allow for much more flexible conversational interactions. Imagine a customer support bot that can not only answer questions, but also adjust its responses based on how the conversation is going. and then there's the potential for more user-friendly interfaces that make prompt engineering accessible to a broader audience. Right now, prompt engineering requires some familiarity with the model's behavior and language patterns. But imagine a future where you have a visual interface that helps you build prompts by suggesting phrasing, testing different wordings, or even showing you real-time feedback on how the model interprets each part of your prompt. This could make prompt engineering a skill that's accessible to everyone, not just AI researchers or developers. To wrap things up, prompt engineering might seem like a small detail in the larger world of AI, but it's actually one of the most powerful tools we have for improving the performance and usability of large language models. It allows us to guide these models toward producing answers that are not only accurate, but also relevant, well-structured and engaging. And as we continue to develop more sophisticated methods and tools, prompt engineering will only become more central to the way we interact with AI in our daily lives. Thanks for joining me on the Cody podcast. I hope this episode has given you some insights into the fascinating world of prompt engineering. Whether you're an AI enthusiast, a developer, or just curious about the future of technology, I think we can all agree that understanding how to communicate effectively with AI is going to be a key skill in the years to come. So until next time, keep experimenting with those prompts, stay curious, and take care. Thank <laughs> you.